Hi there, welcome to episode 08, Camera and Lights. Let's go to the object level. We can see we have our geometry ready, the raspberry and the fluid splash. Let's make a flipbook, but first set the starting frame in the timeline to 40 and the same in the flipbook. Play the animation. The animation with the raspberry is ok. Close the flipbook. Now, to render these geometries, we need to create materials. These materials are no more than a set of properties that define how these geometries interact with light. These material properties tell us the color and texture of the object, how rough or shiny is the object, how transparent is the object, and other additional properties. Besides materials, we also need a camera and lights to render the scene. Let's start by creating a camera. In the shot tools, you can click on the camera button to create one in any position in the viewport. You can use the handles to move the camera. Delete the camera. A better approach is to create a camera from the current view. First press the control key and then on the camera icon. Rename the camera as Shot A. In the Transform tab we have the translation and rotation properties and in the View tab you can change the camera resolution and focal length. At the moment the camera is 1280 by 720 pixels, which corresponds to half HD format. Go back to the Transform tab. From the Viewport Layout menu, select two views stacked. In the bottom view, press Spacebar and 1 to set the perspective view. Here we can see our camera icon and its handles. You can use the handles to adjust the camera view. In the top view, you can also adjust the camera, but first, you have to lock it. Press the lock camera button. Now, using the spacebar and the mouse buttons, you can adjust the camera. Once you have your final position, if needed, you can unlock the camera, to avoid moving your camera by mistake. Now, Let's add some lights to the scene. In the shell tools, you can select different types and similar to cameras, you can click to place the light on the viewport. Click on the point light button and click on the viewport. Now, you can use the handles to reposition the light. Delete the light. Another way for directional lights is to press CTRL and click on the light button to place the light using the current view. Hold CTRL and click on the area light button. The light is located at the camera position and in the viewport we are looking through the light. At the moment the lock camera button is active so you can adjust the light position by moving the view. In the same way you did it for the camera. You can also use the handles to adjust the light position and rotation. Rename the light as backlight and change the size to 20 by 10. Create another area light. You can press Alt and drag our previous light 
to create a copy. Rename it as inf light. To reposition this light, make sure to select it first. Go to the camera menu, then look through light, and then select the inferior light. Now you can reposition the light using the viewport. Or you can also use the handles to reposition the light. Using the same process, create another area light. Press Alt and drag any previous light to create a copy. Rename it as Right Light. To reposition this light, make sure to select it first. Go to the camera menu, then look through light, and then select the right light. Now you can reposition the light using the viewport. Or you can also use the handles to reposition the light. By the way, you can also light your scene by using HDRI or High Dynamic Range Images. In this case, click on the Environment Light button. Then use the environment map parameter to search and load an HDRI image. But in this project, we are just going to use area lights. Delete the environment light. Restore our camera view to shot A and return the viewport layout to single view. OK, we have positioned the lights in the scene, but we still need to tweak the settings and set the light intensities. To properly adjust the light, first it's necessary to assign materials to the geometries. This will be the goal of the next video. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon in the next one.